Hello guys, it's Steph and welcome back to the channel. So in this week's video I wanted to do something a little bit different and something that we haven't done before, our first ever story time. Okay, so this story time is going to be detailing the time I was outed at university. This is something I've talked about a lot in my private life and something I've talked about on a podcast I did quite recently, but it's something I have never talked about directly on the channel, so I thought that that would be a good first story time. So I was 18, it was 2015, and I had been accepted to university and I was so excited to go because I had been in a small town my whole life and everyone knew I was trans and no one was willing to forget that I was trans and people threw rocks at me and it was it was just not a great place to be in a great space or mindset or anything like that so university was like my big chance I wasn't gonna tell anyone that I was trans I was so excited I was so ready to go so for the first week when I first got to university I lived with my flatmates we had moved in earlier because we didn't get into halls so I was in a flat share with complete strangers none of them knew that I was trans I hadn't told any of them because I really wanted to keep a secret and that first week was amazing it was like going out with my new flatmates and getting to know them all of those fun things you do in your first week of university missing home crying a lot things like that so anyone that knows me knows that I'm a very flirty person very flirtatious but when I moved to university I was indeed a virgin so I'd never slept with anybody and I didn't have any plans to and during my first week of freshers, I think at my very first event, I met the captain of the rugby team. Now I know what you're thinking, Steph, was this man tall, well built, dark and handsome? Yes, minus the like super handsome bit, he was tall with me and I was 18 so it's fine, don't judge me. This guy, for the duration of Freshers Week, was basically trying to get into my pants. He didn't know that I was trans, I wasn't going to tell him I was trans. Just as a very quick sidebar, if you're a trans person at university or a trans person anywhere, it's not your responsibility to tell the people that you flirt with that you're trans, unless you intend to take it further, which at the time, I didn't. So I didn't tell him, I thought it was harmless flirtation, and we entered kind of like a Freshers Week relationship of dating and going to all of the freshers events together but never sleeping together and so that's kind of the story up until this point so freshers week no one knew I was having a great time I was getting very drunk and I was flirting with lots of guys and making out with lots of guys and it was some of the best weeks of my life I'm not gonna lie what happened next was there was a situation with the guy in my house where he wanted to become more sexually involved and I didn't and it turned into a bit of an argument, some words were said and it ended in him kind of like storming out and leaving. Eventually I decided to tell him and it was the first person I told at university and oh my god I cannot tell you how much I regret it. The first person I told also happened to be the captain of the rugby team, hindsight is a bitch, but I told him. I told him that's why I didn't want to be sexually active with him because I was trans and because no one knew and things like that and what followed was really difficult so he outed me to my housemates so they all knew and there was one guy who used to come over all the time and was friends with our group and he found out and he no longer wanted to be friends with me which is fine, you know, I'm 18 years old, I'm a big girl, I can deal with all of that. So I lost my friends, my flatmate's opinion of me completely changed, which totally altered my first year of university. They no longer liked me. And that was kind of it for a while. I lost contact with him and my relationship with my flatmates broke down because they didn't like that I was trans. And then it, it was okay for a while, it hadn't really noticed I wasn't involved in sports teams yet and so I was just talking with my uni friends and going back to a house where no one wanted me and no one wanted to socialise with me and so 
it continued on like that for my first two terms. Then in January 2016, I decided to join the sports teams because I wanted something to do and I wanted to make new friends. And then at my first sports event, everyone was treating me amazingly. At Sporting Fresh events, you have these games where you've got to do lots of different things. Some of them are like, you've got to drink this many of one type of drink and some of them are you have to do this and some of them are you've got to get this many people's numbers and my first sports team event this guy walked in who I had known captain with the rugby team only person in the university that knew I was trans and he walked straight up to the captain of the football team and told him I was trans and then they started to point and laugh at me and soon enough word spread throughout the whole party and I was quite unaware of it at the time because I was just having fun, I was a bit drunk and chilling with my friends and then this guy comes up to me and he asked for my number, he's being really flirty and me being me and being flirtatious, I'm like, oh, okay, he likes me, he's picking up what I'm putting down, okay. And so I gave this guy my number and then he turned his back on me walked over to the rest of the captains and he said I did it and I found out that I had become the game. It was now a game to get my number because I was the trans girl and the freak. And yeah, that hurt. That was, that was hard and I went home in tears, left the rest of my team there. Wasn't a fine moment for me. But they were supportive, my team was supportive of me. And so for a while, it was just awful. I had worked my entire life. I had sacrificed my long-term health in order to pass. All of a sudden, just overnight, just because I liked the wrong guy, it was just gone. It was just gone. Looking back on it now, I'm glad it happened. It made me a stronger person. But I was outed my first year of university by the first guy that I kissed. I felt like I couldn't go to events anymore and it just ruined everything. It ruined my relationship with my flatmates. It ruined my course. I wanted to drop out. And then in my second year, because I decided to try and stick it out, and then it had spread from the sports department to the rest of the school. And there were stares and sniggers and comments and all of these like really clicky things that I hadn't experienced since being back home. And all of a sudden my anonymity, the thing I had worked 18 years for was just gone. It ruined my entire university experience and that's because I let it. I didn't live openly and because of that I was vulnerable to being outed. I should have known better, I should have not flirted with all the boys, I should have gone into university openly told everyone I was trans, tried to be really proud of it. I allowed myself to be a victim of outing because I tried to hide who I was. And there's something I'm really grateful for in that experience. And it's the fact that I now live openly and without being outed, I mean, I'm sure it would have still happened, but I don't know how long it might have taken me to get to that point. That's, that's the story of how I was outed at university. And I'm a much stronger person because of it, but that doesn't make it any less devastating at the time. 18 year old me, 19 year old me was devastated. It was awful. But it made me a stronger person and it taught me some very valuable lessons. Know who your true friends are, because I've still got friends from that first year of university who stuck by me and I love them so much. Live openly if you can. I know as trans people, living openly is like painting a target on yourself 
and can be, in some parts of the world, an incredibly dangerous thing to do. But live openly if you can, because it just leaves you susceptible to not live a full life and to be outed like I was. And learn from those lessons. Learn from those mistakes. Learn who to trust. And if you get outed at a party, just own it. You know, get into it. Be fabulous. Really lean into it. They want you to be the trans freak. It might not be who you are, but it might get them off your back. If I had been like, oh yeah, I'm trans, fabulous, fabulous, and glitter, and things like that, maybe they would have been like, oh, they're in on the joke, that's hilarious. And it wouldn't have been quite so devastating. So those are the lessons I learned from that. I think I'll just end it there. That's the story. <laughs> and those are the lessons I learned. If you enjoyed this story time, please let me know in the comments just down below. If you want to see another story time, if there's any experiences particularly you want me to talk about, then please let me know. I'd love to do another story time. This is really fun. I enjoyed this. This was great. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more rambling story times and strange videos in the future. That's it from me guys. I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this story time and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.